Meyer, founder at 10 Xcoder Kids, and today you're gonna learn about higher order functions in JavaScript. So let's get started. Okay, so JavaScript higher order functions, a complete guide. A function is a reusable piece of code designed to avoid repetitive code and improve code quality. As a functional programming language, JavaScript uses higher order functions to implement this abstraction at even higher level. Right. So what is exactly functional programming? Since functions are considered first class citizens in functional programming, JavaScript is able to implement higher order functions. So now what are first class citizens? JavaScript uh, treats functions as first class citizens. Enabling function, that means it enables functions to operate similarly to any other data type such as strings, arrays, objects and so on. So there are some of the operations that can be performed on functions when treated as first class citizens right so uh, uh, first is assign them to a variable you can assign a function to a variable for example you have variable x so you can create a function like variable x equals to function like this right so this is assignment set them as object properties right so you can uh, set them as object properties and i'm not, okay and store them in array so you can store them in arrays like function right right so you can store them in arrays and also use them as an argument to a function or as a return from a function so you can use them as an argument to a function or as a return from a function so for example uh, i have a function over here right in this i could be accepting a function and then i could be returning a new function right new function right so yep so these are the four things that are enabled for first class citizens uh, that are functions functions are treated as first class citizens and these four things are enabled for them right so high order functions high order functions operate on other functions by taking them as arguments returning them from a function or both that you just read in this point use them as an argument to a function or as a return from a function those are higher order functions only so let's see some examples now functions that take other functions as arguments so let's see this first now we'll just see look at examples so first of all pass function as an argument to another function so here's an example so first we have array of names to be used in the function so we have john tina uh, Kale, and max <laughs> uh, uh, and function uh, so function using function fn as a parameter so we'll accept a function right so now we are taking uh, a function as an argument so we have a function use function in which we are taking two things an array and also another function so this is accepting a function as an uh, argument right then we are looping for let i equal zero i less than array dot length i plus plus standard for loop and then we are calling uh, a function for every uh, loop uh, for every iteration right and passing the function array i right and now we have also an argument function that will be passed to a use function and this will just console dot log um, hello name and then you'll call use function names and arc func. So uh, names is our array, and arc func is the function that will be used. Now we uh, the length is four, so this will loop four times, right? And every time the function will be called, and every value will be passed to the function. So first value is John. John is passed to our argument function that will console dot log hello name uh, and John. Then Tina will be passed to argument function that will console dot log uh, hello Tina and so on so we let hello john hello tina hello kale and hello max right so we are getting the result proper result pretty pretty good right so now in the above program use function is a higher order function that takes the fun uh, the function fn as an argument and manipulates the elements of an array according to fn Right? So uh, uh, this is our higher order function use function because it is taking a function as an argument. So when we are returning a function or taking a function as an argument or doing both, then we are creating a higher order function. Right? Very simple. Functions that return other functions. Now we are on the example of functions that return other functions. Right? 
So okay. So oh, let's see the code example. So uh, uh, we have the same array of names, right? Then we have a function, return function, not use function, it is return function. And we'll just have an array. Uh, we'll just accept an array. And then we are just returning a function, second function, right? So we are returning this that will take in y, right? And it will log out first argument or uh, uh, is an array plus array, right? So we'll log out the array and then our, we'll log out argument passed to the second function is y. So then we have, I'll explain this in a second. Uh, constant my function equals return function names, my function or string, right? So I'll just remove the result right now. So you can also pass both by, okay. So l let me explain this. So first of all, we are creating a my function in which we are calling return function and passing it names. So this will return us a function, second function that will accept y as an argument. Right, so now we are getting the function definition uh, in my function uh, that will uh, uh, and this uh, function second function will log out first argument is an array array and the second argument will be the uh, second thing that will be log out is the y parameter passed to second function. Now that we have this function saved in my function, we are calling that my function and we are passing it a string. Right, so now it will uh, log out first argument is an array and it will say a string right and say a uh, second uh, second argument passed to second function uh, no sorry 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 uh, <laughs> I got confused uh, first argument is an array right and that it will log out array that is John Tina Kale and Max and uh, second argument argument passed to second function is y that is O string. So argument passed to second function is O string, right? So we'll get host argument is an array that, and then we'll the array will be printed out, and then uh, argument passed to second function is O string, right? Right, and then the same thing could have been done uh, by just doing return function names. So this will return us this and directly calling it there and then uh, and passing it O string. So we'll get the same result, right? So we got the same result. Very, very cool stuff over here. Okay, so so the function return function in the above port snippet is a high order function because it returns the function second function which requires another parameter y. So functions that take other function as arguments and then return functions, right? So now this is an important example, right? This one is an important example over here. So what we have, we have our names array. We have our use return function, right? And in this, uh, we'll use and return both. We'll ac we are accepting an array and a function. We are looping, right? So we are looping, right? And we are doing array i equals function array i. Right, so we'll just look at this in a second and then we are returning our second function right and then we have our argument function that will log out the hello and thing and we have use return function so let's see we are calling use return function you are passing it names and argument function so we pass it our names array and our argument function now we have for let i equal zero i less than array dot length i plus plus Right, so we are looping now standard loop and what we're doing we're doing array i equals to function array i right so array i will be function array i so uh, basically array i right now is array zeroth element equals when passed to function function will uh, our uh, function array i so we are passing john to our uh, function that is argument function that will return us hello john now um, array i uh, meaning array zeroth elements value from john is changed to hello john similarly it will, uh, the second uh, uh, value will be changed to hello tina the third value will be changed to hello kale uh, <laughs> and the fourth argument will be changed to hello max okay after all the changing we'll return the second function once again in which we'll be asking for a parameter and we are locking our whole array right that we have changed right now 
uh, and we'll get hello John, hello Tina, hello Kali, and hello Max. And then we are logging out. Argument passed to second function is and whatever we pass. So now this has uh, this has done. Uh, from this we have got this function definition now right after changing everything in this now we are passing o string we are calling this second function and passing it o string right so now first argument is an array and, and we are printing the array hello john hello tina hello kali and hello max and then argument passed to second function is o string right so both the things were done in one function so this is also an higher order function First argument is an array, hello John, hello Tina, hello Kali, hello Max. And argument passed to second function is a string. Very, very cool. So this was an important example for you to understand. So in the above program, use written function is a high order function that uses a function fn as a parameter and returns a function called second function. And now higher order functions can also be used to uh, so now we are create we can use higher order functions like functions to create new functions so a higher order function can also create a new function so let's see so over here we have our integer array 3 10 25 1 and 7 right and we are creating a function filter array that will accept an array next we have our new array constant right and this will be a new array and we are returning a function right so uh, this is uh, just like we are kind of creating a function right so we are kind of okay so the indentation is messed up okay so we are returning a function greater than and we'll ask for a number in this we are looping right uh, on our array that we get and we are check uh, saying if array i is greater than m right so if it is greater then new array dot push array i and then uh, after uh, pushing every greater than m value we are logging out elements that are greater than m uh, uh, equals to 9 r uh, no m <laughs> uh, and whatever m value is r in new array so let's see filter array we call filter array and we pass it integer array filter array got our array and it uh, created a constant new array and return us this function greater than then we invoke that function and passed it 9 right so that comes in m right then we are looping on every element that was in our array uh, right and then we are checking if array i so whatever index on uh, in on whichever we index we are on uh, we are checking on that index the value is greater than m that is we have passed 9 so if it is greater than 9 then new array dot push array i so only 10 and 25 are greater than 9 so they will be pushed to new array in the end of the loop it will print uh, it will log out elements that are greater than m equals 9 or 10 and 25 pretty good so in the above example higher order functions uh, higher order function filter array is used to create and return a second function greater than which filters array elements greater than parameter m so very much understandable over here Let's comment this now. functions to change functions so uh, when uh, when a function is changing another function then that is also uh, a higher order function so use higher order functions to change a function so we have similar in array we have a change function right and in this we are returning a function get array right so basically we are just returning a function the change function takes in math dot min right uh, so okay so we are passing change function math dot min right uh, that will come in f right uh, and then in this what it is doing it is returning us this function so now it, we are getting get array now get array we are passing our int array to it that is 3 10 25 1 7 and then we have in this let result f that is math dot min and we are uh, spreading our array right so uh, it takes in as uh, separate arguments in math dot min we have to give separate arguments we cannot give an array so that's why we are spreading an array so our elements will be spreaded out next we are logging out core uh, uh, in result uh, 
okay right so we'll get the minimum value now so that is one so next it will log out uh, called with array so that is our uh, 3 10 25 1 7 and returned the result that is 1 and then we are finally returning the result that we aren't saving anywhere right okay so we are not saving that result anywhere but we are returning it so so called with this and returned 1 so this was the minimum value now I could have done variable x is equal to this and now in x I have 1 that is the minimum value so console dot log x so I'll get 1 this 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 and 1 right very very cool stuff over here so the high order function change function takes a function as a parameter and provides the necessary parameters to it separately using the return function get array so now a uh, uh, function to provide new control flow so let's see at this you have order function to provide new control flow let's see so we have our integer array we have custom for each right and we, in this we are accepting an array and a function right and now uh, uh, we have uh, we are doing for let i equal 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus right so we are looping on our array and then we are calling the function that was passed right and then we are passing it okay so this is kind of interesting so we are passing it array i so that is the uh, i -th, uh, so like for example we are on 0th index so uh, we array i that will be 3 percent 2 equal 0 right so we are giving uh, uh this will give us true or false that will be passed to our function yeah right yeah and then we are passing it a function console.log array is even right <coughs> high order function two right unless function takes the function then as an argument and performs a control flow uh, operation so let's see over here we have custom for each right and we are passing it two things our array and then we are passing it on less, right? So there are two high order functions being created, custom for each and unless. Both are high order functions, right? So now unless is passed to custom for each and integer is passed to custom for each. Now we are looping on every element in our integer array, right? And then we are calling function and uh, uh, array i percent 2 equals 0 right so that will give us true or false and then uh, our function will be um, uh, uh, passed in which it will just log out array i is even right and then if we are checking if test so this gave us true or false uh, so if the test uh, if this gave us true then call this function else don't call it right so now for this it will not call it as this percent 2 it will not be equal to zero there will be a remainder so the function won't be called for 10 it would be called because the remainder will be zero for 25 it won't be called for 2 it will be called and for 7 it won't be called so for 10 and 2 the function will be called and it will show array i is even right 10 is even 2 is even pretty good so uh, so the above examples uh, demonstrates how the high order functions unless is used to provide a new control flow depending on the test condition given by the user so we have 10 percent right now okay so uh, built-in high order functions in javascript many of the built-in javascript functions on arrays strings dom methods promise methods etc are high order functions that provide a significant level of abstraction so listed below are a few of many built-in high order functions so array the map function filter reduce for each add event list more all are high order functions now benefits of high order functions they are easy to use they provide simplicity to the code allowing the programmer and any other party to understand the code at a high level easily they make it less time consuming to write fully functioning and clear code as it's easier to debug when high order functions are used also, they help us write compressed and composed code when programs get more complex, right? And this was it, guys, for higher order functions. I hope you liked the video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.